long-term prednisone. If you're on prednisone for more than three weeks or more than three months, depending on the articles, you have been on prednisone for long-term. And that is what we're gonna talk about today. What side effects you can expect and what to look for, because it's important. There are things you can do to combat them. So I'm Dr. Megan, the prednisone pharmacist. And first, we're going to start with the head. We're gonna start with the brain, with your mood. What can you expect as far as long-term side effects? So first of all, the longer you're on it, the more likely that instead of feeling anxiety or jitteriness or euphoria, you're more likely to experience depression the longer you're on prednisone. It is messing with your mood and your personality in ways that are hard to predict, but the most likely is depression. In addition, it can interfere with your memory. Um, one article said that you can have memory impairment within three months and 1% of people on prednisone get severe steroid dementia. Like it's, they can't remember who they are or what's going on. That can happen in 1% of people. Hopefully it's not you. And let's see. So long-term you get depression and memory impairment. Next, we're going to move down to your face. Cushingoid features. What does Cushingoid mean? It means moon face. It means puffy cheeks. It means your neck or your the back of your um, shoulders here can like get fat deposits called buffalo hump. Or your belly can get really big, like you look like you're pregnant. Those things usually it says can start within two months, and 61% of people have at least one of those side effects at three months and at 12 months 70 percent of people are are suffering at moon face or weight gain or the big belly oh i definitely had it <laughs> it was no fun i couldn't recognize myself in the mirror neither could apple's facial recognition software oh <laughs> um now here's a quote from a pharmacy reference and they're big words and I'm going to translate them into normal words. It says long-term administration, that means taking it for a long time, can lead to adrenal cortical, tro, adrenal cortical atrophy. Oh, I, I couldn't even say it. That means your adrenal cortex on top of your kidney, it's going to, it can just kind of waste away it, because it's not being used because the prednisone is replacing it. That leads to adrenal suppression, which means you can't just stop taking it. You have to slowly taper off and allow it to slowly build back up. The next thing is generalized protein depletion. That means your body is wasting away your muscles. It's taking off the protein from your muscles and your arms might get thinner and your legs might get thinner and your, even your hand might get thinner. And that happens over long term. Um, muscle pain, muscle weakness, even joint pain can be related to that, arthralgia. The next one is related to that, and it's about your bones, your bone matrix. So all of the connections that make your bones strong, they're breaking down and falling away because the prednisone is stealing calcium from your bone matrix. And that can lead to osteopenia, which is just thinning bones, or osteoporosis, which is so thin that it's reached a level that they call osteoporosis. And all of that can lead to fractures, like vertebral compression fractures in your spine. It, they can just kind of smash itself, themselves. And you, you can see people hunched over a little bit, like old people normally is what you see, but that can happen in young people. You don't even necessarily feel those kind of fractures. They just are these little tiny breaks that slowly take away your height. My grandma, she used to be five foot six, and by the time she died, she was five foot three. She'd had so many of those little compression fractures. Um, and then the worst are the breaks or the fractures of your long bones, like in your legs or in your arms. That can happen. Um, 
the worst I think is called avascular necrosis. It's where your either your shoulder or your hip bone or maybe others, but that ball that's inserting into your shoulder or into your hip, it actually dies. It like your bone, the tip of it is dead. Like you have to replace it. It happens to even people in their 30s. And it's just terrible. It's very rare, but it's very horrible because it can put people in wheelchairs. So that hap- that the longer you're on it, the more likely that is to happen and the higher the dose. Okay. Next is um, they did a survey of 2000 over 2000 people on prednisone and they were long-term users. And you know what their number one concern was? Weight gain. I kind of already covered that, but it's kind of your whole body weight gain is. And so that's what people complained about the most is that they've gained weight. So the longer you're on it, the more likely you are to gain weight. Okay, we kind of skip this, your eyes. So prednisone causes lots of eye side effects. One of them is cataracts. And again, the longer you're on it, the more likely you are to get cataracts. And the other one is glaucoma, and that's the swelling, the high pressure in your eye. Both of those can lead to blindness. So for sure, be taking precautions to getting your eyes checked routinely if you're on prednisone long-term. Okay, next we're gonna move down to your heart. Cardiovascular disease. So the longer you're on it, the higher dose, the more likely you are to have hypertension. That's high blood pressure. And that can lead to lots of downstream complications like heart attacks and strokes. And another is arrhythmias. That's where your heart beats kind of weird. Um, and that can actually lead to car- like death. You can actually die of that. And so you wanna be careful that you get your blood pressure checked and just be really paying attention to your heart. Okay, I think that's about everything. So the real question is, what can you do about it? If there's all of these long-term consequences of taking prednisone, is there anything you can do to fight back? And my message is, yes, There, I've mentioned a few as we've gone through of things that you can do to make sure that these Just because you're taking prednisone long-term doesn't mean you need to pay for it the rest of your life. And so I have a prednisone checklist and it goes through all of the steps that you need to take, the doctor visits you need to schedule, the things that you need to be monitoring to make sure that you stay healthy while on prednisone. And I created it based on all of this research that I've done, based on guidelines from doctors and You can get it at a link below. I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist, signing off.